Okay guys, end of camp is here. You've seen me sharpen my skills. I've been working my boxing with Zach Padilla. I've been working my wrestling with St. John Bosco, Ruben Valencia and crew. I've been working my grappling with Felipe Del Monica at Gracie Baja headquarters. I've been getting strong, working on my strength and conditioning, make sure my nutrition is up for my weight cut, making sure my supplementation has been great with the training lab and Sam Calavita, and also my recovery, working with Coach Cal in the training lab. My wife has my nutrition down to a T, has been making sure my food preparation, my, my diet and everything is up to par. And most importantly, Paul and Tiki Gosen have got me prepared at Huntington Beach Ultimate Training Center. And I'm ready. We got the game plan down. We're ready to come fight night, New Year's Eve, bring it to you one of the best performances I'm ever gonna have. I'm Tiki Gossam. We are currently in Huntington Beach, California. Uh, we're at the Huntington Beach Ultimate Training Center where Juan trains and has been training for the past uh, five years. Coach Paul, the, the, uh, my right hand guy, was telling me about this animal he used to train back when he was a kid and that he's fighting now. And uh, so he kind of introduced me or, or informed me about Juan rather. And he said, you know, this kid is very tough. He's very raw, and if you can, you know, get to working with him, I think he can, he can do something. Training Juan Archuleta has been very fun and challenging over the years, uh, but he's a great guy and he's very fun to work with. He will always do more than he is uh, asked, or more than is asked of him, and I mean, he, there's no quit in him. He, he will go until, he's got more energy and he's got more cardio than anybody I've ever seen. So it's almost like when we're done with practice, he's like, did I do enough? I'm like, yeah, we have to stop you from doing any more. He just go, 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 go. Yo, yo, what up guys? As you know, this is one of the last few days of training camp. Whew. And it's exciting, right? Who's grinding? Guys, you have seen one of the best characters in my camp, a guy that I've grown to love and brought into my family, K.O., the new K.O., Kaohi Hayigawa. He has been a true blessing to my camp. He has evolved as a real martial artist. He has seen what a training camp of a champion, what it takes to endure, what it takes to empty out the glass in training camps, and what it is to become a man while training as a martial artist. And now he's ready to put that into use. His training camp is going to be coming up and I'm going to pay back and pay forward that training camp with him when he is ready to take on his opponent. And I can't say the fight or when he's fighting yet because it's up to him to announce it. But just know he is ready to fight. He is ready to train. He is ready for that training camp. And I will be there side by side to watch him do it. Training camp today, last day. Yeah. Let's go. And then you see who supports me. All my sponsors, the guys that I was able to provide you with, we didn't get to capture all of them, but the ones that were along the way, uh, we got to show you, they're all family oriented and all like-minded people, all my sponsors. You know, they, they're all very similar in the aspect of family oriented and family produced companies because I'm a family man. And that leads me into my own family, right? 
I have the love, I have the support of beautiful kids, my brothers, my sisters, my nieces, my nephews, my mother, my father, and most importantly, the driving force behind me, my wife, who handles all my nutrition, who cooks and prepares everything for me. Things that I don't even have to think about that she's already five steps ahead. And I love that support. My goals are her goals. And she wants this as bad as I do. And I can't wait. I can't wait to be able to step into that ring and give them all what they deserve. Me to perform 100%. And that's what I'm going to do come fight night. We trained for Kai Asakura once already. Kai got hurt and he pulled out of the fight. Um, I was confident go going into the last fight that we would be able to finish Kai. I've watched him fight a couple times. We watched him fight live the last time. Um, he's dangerous on his feet. And I do believe that this time we had, we had the same game plan, but we were able to really tighten it up, sharpen it, focus on what we were going to do and execute. And he's done such a better job this camp than he did the last time. I was already confident the last time. I'm even more confident this time that Juan is going to finish him. I don't think what the results are. I know what the results are. The results are going to be that you're going to have the best version of Juan Archuleta that's ever stepped into the octagon, the cage, or the ropes there in Japan, and you will never get less. I'm a godly man myself, but Juan's gonna f this guy up. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> That'll be the results. And you know, it's all respect to all the fighters. It's not a, a pun on him or any disrespect, but our boy is gonna kick his In New Year's in Japan, you guys can expect Juan 100% physically, mentally, technically, he don't mess around, he, he trains really hard, he's very professional, and when you lock him inside the ring or inside the cage, great things gonna happen. He's the best in the world, and he's, I'm very excited to see him perform December 31st. How I think Juan's gonna do on New Year's and really kind of like my predictions, I've always told Juan he's the best in the world, and he, he's, he's working on legendary status now. You know, he's had champ status, right? Four belts in one organization. He's won the belt in every organization he's been in, you know, in Bellator and now in Risen. And so we're expecting him to win, right? We're expecting him to win, but more than expecting him to win, we're expecting him to perform at a level um, that a lot of the fans haven't gotten to see. And so uh, Asakura is not ready for this type of Juan that's coming at him. Juan's very, very sound. Um, I'm, I'm looking at seeing some things like he won't be able to keep up with Juan. He'll, he'll be trying to get a beat on him and Juan will be misdirecting in different, different directions and before you know it he's getting hit and before you know it he's on his back getting taken down um, and then beat up. And I see that happening round after round if he survives even through those rounds, right? We're, we're foreseeing a finish. But if not, we're, we're definitely uh, uh, taking a ma majority decision for sure. Everyone keeps asking, where can we watch this fight, Juan? Hey, how do we tune in and make sure we support you and watch your fight on New Year's Eve? Well, guys, there's an app called Fight TV, F-I-T-E-T-V. And it's going to say Fight TV is now Triller TV. That's where you can catch the app. That's where you could catch the fight of Ryzen 45 and tune in and watch me take down Kai Asakura. I want to give a special shout out to Legacy Builders, Steve Martin. Thank you so much for being there since day one and also preparing me for life ahead. Quality Environmental, Gustavo. Thank you so much again for all your support, your love, and just everything you do for me and my family. KBI Keystone Builders, I want to give you a special shout out and thank you for your loyal support and that you're a family owned business that I get to represent come fight night. Airwave Communications, Gary, my man, you've been in the gym with me over at Huntington Beach Ultimate Training Center. I see you always training, staying strong, staying fit. Happy holidays. Thank you for the love and support that you give. Affinity Painting Company. Albert, my man, thank you for all your love and support. To the guys at Dime Industry, thank you so much for your support. Your Christmas party was amazing. I had a great time. You guys have a truly awesome and just a fantastic boss and Mike. To Elite Sports, thank you for always showcasing me and keeping me fresh in my fight kit. 
I can't wait to retain this title and represent your company. Happy Jewelers. Thank you guys. Gabe, Danny, you are always keeping me fresh. Monster Energy, thank you for your love and your support as we get ready to defend this title. Team Green, baby. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. My after party is going to be at Wagyu Mafia. I promise you, look them up. And when you search in Wagyu Mafia, you are going to be amazed. They have some of the best Wagyu I've ever ate in my life. Everything's uh, entertainment from the moment you walk in to the moment you leave. You want to know what's going to be entertaining? My after party there as I scarf down so much Wagyu, I'm going to be 180 pounds. Happy holidays. Can't wait to see you out in Japan.